at all last night? I was up late turning on my last revisions. Well, what about mood-wise? Are you feeling steady? We could go to the psychiatrist. Dad, I'm not losing it, I promise. I haven't felt this good in weeks. Guess the medication's doing its job now that I'm doing the pills. <laughs> you have my morning dose? Great day, chum. You meet the couple who want to adopt Ty. Can't believe it's happening so fast. Yeah, me neither. The adoption agent said they're perfect. All they need is our stamp of approval, and then... I hope Ed and Kathy Powell know they're about to win the baby lottery. This is what Jenna wants, Casey. What about what I want? Okay, so say it's you and me raising Ty. Who's gonna look after him when I'm at work? I drop out of school. Like your own father did? There's gotta be a way. You would have never given me up. No. But I don't want Tyson to go through what you did either. with the suitcase. Getting a head start on packing. Jenna, I was mad when I said we should break up. And you were right. Once Tyson's gone, there's nothing keeping me here. Uh, Eli, there are changes on every page. And a brand new ending. Ari ends up with Clara. True love triumphs. <laughs> That sounds perfect. It sounds last minute. Uh, I just memorized my line. The final change is that Fritz will now be known as Jack. I believe that Jack is a much more worthy adversary for Clara's affection. So read it through, and we'll regroup at lunch. Hello, director here. Could use a heads up that you're changing the ending. Oh, sorry, there was no time. It hit me last night like a comet. <laughs> well, comet boy, the play's tomorrow night. These are way too many changes. Maybe we should talk to Dawes. Fiona, this is the ending that the play deserves. Now, if we can pull this off without the help of a teacher, how amazing would that be? Tell me, how amazing? Very, I guess. Don't worry. I think you're eagle, not your tail. <laughs> oh, thank you for letting me crash on your couch last night, Chloe. It was a pretty wild night last night, huh? I can't believe you're actually going to school this morning. Well, my mom's meeting me here for lunch, so I kind of have to be here. <clears throat> I haven't seen you at the beefcake for a while. No, you haven't. Owen's uh, not talking to me, and it's all my fault. Well, there's other meat in the butcher shop. Ew, <laughs> that is so gross on so many levels. Ever. <laughs> you still want this? Oh, yeah. Thanks. See you around, Anya. Yeah, uh, thanks again. Uh, Owen? 
calling me up. No, I'm, I'm really sorry about our big fight. And I was a huge jerk, and you didn't deserve it. Forgive me? Forgiven. Good. Thank you. So, plans for lunch? Um, my, uh, my mom wants me to find my path now that university's out. And she's dragged me to this career fair at the library over lunch. Mm. Any chance that uh, you feel like going through some of these quizzes with me? Fine. You're the best. <laughs> you know, Eli joined the play to build the set. Somehow he ended up with a role. And now this, Jack, really, everyone loves a villain, Jake. Embrace it. He based his character on me. Jeez, ego much. Man, I know the play has been about your relationship with Claire, and I've been cool with it. Well, you're a cool guy. Yeah, but this crap? You're crossing a line. This will not impress her. Claire's already impressed. So when you're driving her around in that truck of yours, all Claire's thinking about is how much she loves my play. Stop messing with Claire's head. Haven't you put her through enough? <laughs> you know, I'm starting to question your commitment to the play. Maybe, maybe you're all wrong for the role of Jack. You're losing it. Seek help. Yep. I'm recasting. Jake's services are no longer required on Love Roulette. Good luck finding a replacement. Bro, well, hey, have you ever thought about acting? Thanks. Hey, Dave. You know, uh, Jenna's moving out of my place. Yeah, Allie told me yesterday. Oh. Well, thanks for keeping me in the loop. Oh, and for ratting me out. Friend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't put this on me, bro. You cheated with Marisol. Obviously, Jenna's moving out. <laughs> Allie's acting like it's one big sleepover. She's moving in with Allie? Well, short term. Me and Allie had to vouch for Jenna with her parents. I thought we'd make it through the adoption and then maybe after a couple weeks. And then what? Get back together? Happily ever after? It could happen. I've just got to find a way to get her to stay. Good luck with that. Okay, so, would you rather A, fly a plane, B, fix a plane, C, be a passenger on a plane, or D, be a bird? Is that an actual question? Well, maybe made up the last choice. Um. Any chance that you want to check out a career fair? With, with your mom? Oh, she'll love you. Uh... Come on! Ah. Um... Hey, Mom, uh, this is, uh... Owen, we're dating. Oh, hi, nice to meet you. I'm Pam. Nice to meet you, too. Um, Owen's gonna come to the career fair with us. Uh, looks like I'm not the only one who doesn't have my whole life figured out, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, got a, I got a few ideas. Yeah, sure. Everybody's got a few ideas. Uh, I want to get my coaching certificate. What? Yeah. Play my way through college, and then uh, one day I hope to work with the national team. Oh, you sound like a man with a plan. I'm impressed. Yeah, well, I mean, no doctor, but... <laughs> Wait! Switch drinks. Fine by me? Switch drinks, Riley. Sorry, um... I mean, fine by me as well. Okay, now you drink, you throw it behind the roulette table, you grab the knife that's hidden behind Shantae, you lunge at me, I block Wait, it. Hold on, I drink? Okay, this isn't that difficult. He just got the script, can we go slower? Slower, we can't go slower. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Everyone just has to work harder, this has to be perfect, I want it perfect. Okay, take five, everybody. Why are you yelling at everyone? And what is Riley doing here? He's playing Jack. What happened to Jake? Fired him. Okay, that's it. We're going to Dawes. Ari, there's enough room for you and Jack in the world. But not in your heart, Clara. Not in your heart. And scene. 
Well, Imogen is already off book. Looks like you're halfway there. Miss Dawes, they're putting on a good show here, but with all these changes, the play's gonna be a disaster. Eli? Miss Dawes, I had to make these changes because um, it's about having the courage to write a happy ending. Like if Shakespeare decided to rewrite Romeo and Juliet instead of a tragedy, changing it to give the audience hope to have the two people who are supposed to be together walk off into the sunset. A writer's catharsis? Exactly. This twist ending will put this play over the top. Give me a break. Who even knows what he's talking about? I do. No offense, Fiona, but you don't have the experience with plays like I do. You're not an artist. <sighs> okay, fine. Do whatever you want, but I won't be responsible for a play that bombs. I know creative differences are common, but you two started out like a dream team. Why isn't it working anymore? Okay. Fiona, the show must go on. You're still not taking your meds, are you? I've been off them for weeks, and I feel awesome. You stopped taking them to unblock your creativity so you could write the play, but now that the play is already okay, written... forget about the pills. We need to get the word out about this amazing twist ending for Love Roulette now. Will you tell everyone you know? Of course. And I know exactly who I need to talk to. I got these for you. I made a mistake with Marisol. It was stupid and selfish, and I'm sorry. Okay. Thanks for the apology. Can we maybe unbreak up? Look, Casey, the truth is, if it weren't for the baby, I'm not sure we would have stayed together this whole time. I don't believe that, Jenna. I, I love you. Just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. The only thing I want is to find the best home we can for Ty. Cross girl, I've got a scoop for you. Hey, Eli. I wondered if you could do a last-minute article in Love Roulette. Ah, oh, I heard there were changes, and you fired Jake? Uh, yeah, that, um, he was just a casualty of the creative process. Do you say anything to you? Not really. Uh, I think you did him a favor, actually. Well, not everyone loves theater, not the way you and I do. So, how about that interview? I'm kind of in the middle of something. Of course. How about later? Seven-ish, say, at the dot? Sure. Let's do it. Then it's a date? It's an interview. Isn't that what I said? booths at a career fair, and not one, not one, is even remotely appealing to me. <laughs> what, you don't think you have a future in television repair? Hilarious, Owen. You know, you really sucked up to my mom. I made a good impression. You made me look like an idiot. I brought you along for support. You should have just played along. All right, I understand you're upset, okay? But don't take it out on me. You will find something eventually. Not everybody has it all figured out. Like you do. You must think I'm a real loser, then. I didn't say that. Yeah, well, you don't have to say it. <sighs> Ty's a really good baby. He's a great sleeper. And if he cries, all you have to do is play him some music. And he's happy again. He sounds perfect. He is. He's perfect. Ed and Kathy, do you have questions? We know this is an open adoption, and we just want to make sure that giving Tyson up is definitely what you guys want to do. We've heard horror stories about parents who change their minds during the probation period. We both love Tyson, but 
We also want what's best for him. I'm sorry, I have one more question. What sports would you put him in? Oh, um, well, we hadn't thought that far ahead, I guess. <laughs> Neither of us is very athletic. I see. Uh, well, that's all. Right, Casey? <laughs> it would be an honor for you two to raise Tyson. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't approve. What are you doing? Do you two need a moment? I just don't feel comfortable with this. You're pretty jacked up. I have a day with Claire, Dad. She's feeling it. I'm feeling it. Uh, you've been tracking your moods in that journal the doctor gave you? Extreme emotions, even positive ones, can be a sign of a problem. That's ridiculous. I'm happy. How can that be a problem? Fair enough. Anyway, here is your evening dose. I know this can't be easy for you, but I'm proud of you, son. Hey. Sorry I was such a biatch, but uh, I'm all good now. Please tell me you didn't just do coke in the bathroom. So what if I did? Again? I thought you were done with that. We're playing pool. Sorry, Mr. Hockey Coach wannabe. I have seen a new side of you today, and honestly, I don't like it. Well, you can't tell me what to do. That's exactly what you need. The problem is you won't listen. And why would I listen to you? Awesome. Okay, you're pathetic. Okay. Oh, come on. I, I'm sorry. I'll be good. Extra sugar, just the way you like it? Thanks, but I could have paid for mine. No way. So, new ending. You look really pretty. I'm here for the newspaper, Eli. You get that, right? I'm the one who requested the interview, so yeah, I get it. Tell me about your leading lady. You and Imogen have been working pretty closely on the play. Imogen? It's pretty obvious she has feelings for you. Why are we talking about it? We're not... There's nothing between us. Okay. Sorry. Let's start over. Let's. Uh, can you tell me what inspired the new ending? Well, I was. Hey. What's he doing here? We're going to a movie after this. For a date? Can you please just tell me what inspired the new ending? Well, what inspires anything, really? Love and blood? Blood? Darkness, whatever comes out. I'm not sure I follow. I'm sorry, I... I can't seem to get together my thoughts. I... Uh... Are you okay? Yeah, I... I it's, it's... It was a stupid question! Hey, is everything all right? Yeah, I, I, this is a bad idea. I'm tired and I need to get some sleep. Yeah, uh, you should you should go home and rest. We can do this later. Enjoy your movie. <sighs> hey, uh, are you busy in like uh, half an hour? I just want to go through the script or something. Yeah. Um, my house. <coughs> you look like roadkill. It's the, uh, coke. Well, Chloe sold me a bad batch. I heard she does that. Here. Thanks. 
I've totally ruined my life. Yep, cocaine can have that effect. My parents have lost total faith in me. Owen thinks I'm a complete wasteoid. If I could just find something, anything. Like her, flying an airplane, all the confidence in the world. Why can't I be like that? Lay off the blow. Who says he can't? I just hated the way we left things. The truth is you should be with me, not him. We'll run away where no one can ever come between us again, just you and me against the world. You and me against the world. That was close, but I think we should rehearse the scene a few more times, Eli. This play is so amazing. No. It's you who's amazing, Clara. You mean Clara? You and God knows what to God knows who. If I'm not watching, I'm not listening. It don't mean I don't love you. Whatever it takes. I know I can make it through And if I hold out uh, I know I can make it through I know I, I know I can make it through